Active electronically scanned array systems require precise amplitude and phase control to steer their beams. These complex systems require new design-to-test methodologies to help ensure system performance. In this video, we will show a new design-to-test methodology to customize the FPGAs in the M9703 multi-channel digitizer using SystemView design software. The FPGAs will be used to correct the channel-to-channel -channel amplitude and phase versus frequency using an LFM chirp radar stimulus. The test setup consists of system view design software installed on a laptop, which is connected to the AXIE hardware. An M9703A digitizer will be used to digitize and process the signals using the custom FPGA algorithms programmed with system view. An M8190A two-channel precision arbitrary waveform generator, or AWG, will be used to generate the LFM chirped radar stimulus using system view. An LFM chirped radar signal source is connected to the M8190A signal downloader in system view. Starting the simulation downloads the signal to the M8190A AWG. An external RF power splitter, which is not shown here, is used to split the AWG output into two of the eight input channels of the M9703A digitizer. This is the resulting signal measured with the Vector Signal Analysis, or VSA, software on the digitizer. The LFM chirped radar spectrum is shown on the upper left of the VSA display. The cross-channel amplitude difference between channels 1 and 2 is shown on the upper right, and the cross-channel phase difference between channels 1 and 2 is shown on the lower right of the VSA display. Notice that the amplitude and phase difference between channels 1 and 2 changes with frequency. This will be corrected using the reconfigurable FIRs implemented in the FPGAs. The FPGA settings are enabled from System View to program and access the FPGA hardware in the digitizer. The simulation is started. This will download and reconfigure the FIR coefficients in the digitizer FPGA hardware. The digital down conversion signal processing algorithms and reconfigurable FIRs that are implemented on the digitizer FPGAs are illustrated here. The coefficient values of the reconfigurable FIRs are being dynamically adjusted while the simulation is running. This will correct the cross-channel amplitude and phase response as a function of frequency for the measurement channels on the digitizer. Note that a similar process could be used for digital receiver beamforming applications if an adaptive algorithm were implemented. The post-processed signals from the FPGAs are read into System View to display the measurement result using the VSA software in System View. The VSA display shows the new cross-channel measurement results. The amplitude and phase differences between the reference and measurement channels have been corrected across the LFM chirp bandwidth frequencies. This shows significant improvement relative to the uncorrected amplitude and phase response shown previously before the custom FPGA algorithm was implemented. This new integrated design-to-test methodology between System View and the M9703A digitizer FPGAs enables your custom algorithms to be used in addressing the challenging test complexities of today's radar and EW systems. This enables a new integrated design to test flow for custom FPGA algorithms to help address radar and EW test challenges. Using a simple one-button push for FPGA bit file generation and programming, which enables a new test methodology for wideband multi-channel calibration for radar and EW applications.